Hey guys, long time no see. I know I finally made a video. I haven't made a video in a couple weeks. Um, been really busy. Started a new job, but it's just been busy. So, um, but the licensing expo is going on, so I or was going on, so I did want to talk about a couple things DC related um, that I was uh, that I saw last night on Twitter being talked about from people that are there and were there and stuff like that. So, first off. Kiersey Clemens confirmed on Conan that she is going to be playing Iris West in the Flash film. So um, that puts rumors, the rumors to rest that she was going to be recast after they cut her scene out of the Justice League, her cameo scene. Um, so obviously after that scene got cut and then it was like <sighs> leaked after Justice League came out, um, People were thinking that she was going to be recast, and then that was the reason why they cut the scene. And so, but obviously, she's confirming herself on TV that that's not the case, that she is going to play Iris West, which I think all of us are happy about. I don't think anybody wanted her to be recast. Like, what's the reason for her to be recast, even if the directors were being changed? Or, you know, it took a while for them to get directors. So, um, I am glad that she's staying on for the role like it was really disappointing that they cut her out of justice league she seemed to be really excited about her cameo scene with barry ezra miller and of course we got a little taste of it in the trailer and then it goes good so anyway i'm glad that she's staying on i think she's probably really excited about it she seemed very excited about the role and i'm sure ezra miller and the directors and i'm sure everyone's happy that she's not being recast um, so that's good news. Also, another rumor that is probably finished is um, the Jake Gyllenhaal replacing Ben Affleck as Batman rumor that has been going on for a while. Um, that's probably not true because there are now rumors, I guess you could say, there's now word that he is in talks to play the villain in the Spider-Man Homecoming um, sequel, Mysterio. So if that's the case, and he's obviously not going to be making a deal with Marvel and DC, <laughs> and so if that's true, I'm going to be glad because I like him as an actor, but I just don't see him replacing Ben Affleck as Batman in the DCEU. Ben Affleck has become like my favorite Batman. Um, of course, Michael Keaton will always be amazing, but you know. It's, there's been like a thousand Batman Bye. movies, and so I really love Ben Affleck as in this role, and I don't want him to be recast. I really don't. <laughs> so it's going to be hard for me to imagine anybody replacing him, but I am glad that this Jake Jim Hall rumor is probably going to die down now that these Spider-Man Homecoming rumors came up. So that's another thing that's been being uh, talked about lately. <laughs> My kids are crazy. Um, also at the license, well that wasn't from the licensing expo, but you know, it's just been going on on Twitter and stuff like that. So also from the licensing expo, um, Aquaman footage was shown, new Aquaman footage that was not shown at CinemaCon, different footage. Um, from what I saw on Twitter, Black Manta looks amazing, um, the movie still looks great, like it's going to be a really great movie. Um, some Shazam teaser footage was also shown. Um, and uh, I think some people maybe were <laughs> surprised that they like it more than they expected to. Um, there's also the official um, photo for Shazam. Zachary Levi asked Shazam was released. And it's definitely different than I think what most of us expected as an official first photo, um, you know, suit reveal type of thing, which of course we saw his suit in the set photos, but as an official photo. It is definitely different um, than what I from what I expected. But then again, his character is different. He's a kid, so you know I think that they had to do something a little different with it and make it a little bit more, um, you know, fun, lighthearted stuff like that. Um, David F. Sandberg was answering some questions last night after the official photo reveal about you know his suit, the picture, all that stuff, choices that they decided to make. Um, and he said that he did kind of want it to have like an old school superhero feel to it, but of course like a you know modern take on it. Um, 
and some of his inspirations and choices for the suit and things like that. So I think it's cool. It's fun. I mean, it's an official. It kind of looks a little uh, less than like a picture and more kind of like a painting in a way to me. Um, but of course, those kinds of things are always going to have, you know, they're not going to look completely real, you know, just like a picture, regular picture you take. So it's going to have that look to it. But I do really love his suit. Um, I did a couple of videos about the, you know, for the set pictures that had come out a while back. And the high def pictures that came out made his, really did his suit better justice than those low quality pictures that came out before. So I really do love his suit. Um, and the, you know the design choices they made. One thing I was wondering about his suit when I saw the set pictures, and I'm glad that David F. Sandberg answered it, was why such a short bolt, you know? And he was saying, you know, for practicality reasons, yeah, it would look good to have it longer, but for practicality reasons, he needs to be able to bend and things like that. So not everything that looks good is practical, especially with these suits. They have to try so many different things to get it right and to be able to you know, work comfortably on set and, you know, moving around and doing all these things. So I just want to point that out because I was wondering the same thing when I first saw it. Um, and then um, also um, some stuff that people learned at the licensing expo was about, was concerning Wonder Woman 2, they're going to start shooting soon, um, that... Some storyboard images were shown, and it looks like Wonder um, Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, will have a new suit in the second film, her second solo film. I don't really know too many details about it specifically, but I think I did see something about a more armored suit. Um, it's not weird that you know, or unusual that she's going to have some kind of a different suit. They always tweak these suits from movie to movie. They change them up, you know, add things, you know, try different looks and change them for um, practicality reasons as far as what they're doing in the movie, like, you know, the script, maybe based on their villain or, you know, things like that. They make changes they did to Batman, they did to Superman. Um, so I'm interested to see what it looks like. I really love her suit design, so I hope it's not like a completely different suit that, I mean, I guess it'd be fine if it was, but <laughs> I really like her suit, so I hope it's not too, too different. But I don't think they would just completely change what we're used to seeing her in, and, you know. But anyway, we'll see what kind of changes they make to it and stuff like that. Um, also concerning Wonder Woman 2, I think they also showed what they're trying to do with uh, Cheetah, since she is going to be the villain in the movie. Um, I don't know specifically what they showed about that. Um, Maybe in Shiva is included in a storyboard or how they're planning on doing her CGI. If she's going to be motion capture. I don't know what they showed completely, but they did share something concerning Cheetah in the movie. Um, I don't, I still don't know if I'm 100% on board with Kristen Wiig playing Cheetah. I don't mind her, like I said in my video about it before, but it's kind of hard to me, for me to imagine her as a villainous role. But I'm not going to make any prejudgments. Um, sometimes these people that are... You don't really picture in a certain role surprise you. So I'm just going to wait and see what, um, you know, until we see something and then make my, you know, form my opinion about it. But those are the few things I wanted to talk about today. I know I haven't been making videos as often as I used to, but like I said, I've been really busy. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about a couple interesting things um, that are floating around right now. So thanks for watching, guys. Check out the links in the description. See you next time.